Hello, hi. So it is Tuesday. It is the start of another vlog. I am a mess. Just got out of the shower and have been doing a bunch of stuff all day. It is currently six o'clock. I've done a ton of things that aren't reading. I've spent the entire day pretty much cleaning up my office. As you can see, it's still kind of a disaster back here. So, but I want to do this quick little update to kind of start off this vlog. Reading update wise, I've read nothing today. So I told you guys last week that I had to change some stuff up and I ended up kind of throwing manga and graphic novels into a couple of the prompts, specifically for monster -a -thon. I wanted to try and have something that could complete each prompt for every team and the books that I had originally wanted to get through, there was just no way I was going to be able to do it. Right now, my main goal, I'm going to try and get through these books but I also still have a backup plan just in case. So I'm still getting through Otherbound, have not read a single page of that since the last time I updated you guys about it. I don't know what it is, I'm just having a hard time sitting down and reading. Even though I really do want to continue this, I am about close to halfway, so I have to finish the rest of this this week at some point. My main thing that I'm going to be starting right now, my goal is to get through Midnight Sun by Stephanie Meyer. I'm gonna try and maybe get a little bit of this started tonight so that way I can at least get going on it. Outside of that, I was gonna point to it, but it's behind me. <laughs> Blood for Blood is one of the other books that I plan on trying to read this month. But I'm not sure I'm going to get to it because of how huge Midnight Sun is. I'm hopeful I'll get through that, but just in case I don't, I have other plans. Is to try and read volumes 4 and 5 of Siren. If something happens that I can't get through Blood for Blood, I can use Siren for that as well. What was I even getting on here to talk about? Books. We're talking about books and reading things. So I have been reading Midnight Sun. I am about 100 pages in, which feels like nothing. But you know, so far I definitely have my issues with it, but I'm not hating it yet as much as I was scared I was going to. So I'm realizing I'm being horrible at filming for the vlog this week, but today is Thursday. I just want to do a small update, like I say every time. I'm still reading Midnight Sun. I am probably, oh, I haven't even checked where I was. I'm around 356 pages. I'm getting through this a lot faster than I thought I was going to. And I'm really enjoying it. I definitely feel like there's some moments and conversations specifically in Edward's head that don't need to be dragged out as much. I'm enjoying where this is going. I'm liking the conversations from his point of view. I'm enjoying the background of him and his family. Um, I just had a moment of when he comes back to Carlisle and Esme after all of the killings that he did in his past. That's a very heartwarming and touching moment and I liked seeing that from that perspective. I'm gonna try and get as much as I can of this read tonight but my hope is to at least finish it tomorrow. Today is Monday. A lot of things happened these past couple of days that were unexpected and I honestly wasn't even sure if I wanted to do this last shot for this vlog. I know I need to kind of get back into a normal rhythm of things and I don't want to lose the enjoyment I was getting out of making these videos. Friday night, our cat Aelin had unexpected health issues that required us to take her to an animal hospital really late at night, Friday night. We got there at midnight and didn't get home until two in the morning. We ended up leaving her overnight and then the next morning pretty much got the call saying that our options were few, an infection that caused a lot of fluid buildup in her lungs. So Saturday morning we had to make that decision and Aileen is no longer with us. I know I've shown her on here in the past and just kind of wanted this to explain why she is no longer going to be in my videos. It's been a very rough few days, but I didn't want to, like I said, lose 
the normal skin enjoyment that I was getting out of making these videos. With all that being said, I don't know what my reading is going to be like for the end of this month, if I'm going to get anything read at this point. So I was going to do kind of my final update on this to get into the reading updates though. The last book that I had finished was Midnight Sun. Um, I did finally get through all of this, which will complete the last prompt that I had for Demonathon. I used this for the Grand Ballroom, which was an indulgent read, and I also used this as a comfort read for a prompt in my Team of the Haunts for Monsterathon. I ended up enjoying this a lot more than I expected I would, and I just went into it cautious but open-minded. This I remember when she originally released the first two chapters of this on the website forever ago when that first happened and sitting down and binging all of that and reading it a couple of times because I was just so excited to get his perspective. So knowing this was coming out was kind of a, a, a weird feeling overall. Reading through this there was a lot of nostalgia feelings. There was just this weird comfort in reading this that I was hoping for it and I'm really glad that I got from it. Um, I do feel like it was too long, especially in the beginning scenes. There was just a lot of, there's just too much description of his um, in, inner monologue in the beginning. That's the last book that I personally plan on reading this month, but for this vlog itself I feel like I need to just end it here and not try to push myself to vlog anything else for the rest of the month. Thank you guys for enjoying these vlogs with me. I hope you guys have enjoyed seeing the little bits of Aelin that I have shown in the past. She's been a light in our family and be incredibly missed. I hope you guys enjoy this vlog and I will see you guys next time. Uh, just to add a little quick note, I got a cat recently so she's gonna be in the background of my videos apparently. This is Aelin. I've shown her multiple times on different Instagram accounts that I have. She had been living with my in-laws because we just weren't able to have her but she recently came to live with us so she is most likely gonna be in the background of my videos and causing chaos and what are you doing? Please don't knock somebody over. <laughs> Why are you so weird? I don't know where I am, I don't know where you take me, I don't know where you take me Follow your trail and I'm losing your mind and I'm losing your head Let me escape from this on love cause I'm a prisoner I just want to look my